everywhere as people ran for safety at Stafford Park in Maple Heights on Labor Day. Stafford Park in Maple Heights was packed with families and church groups Monday afternoon celebrating the holiday when suddenly a 29 year old man pulled out a gun and started shooting. I just heard the gunshots and and I turned around. I was cutting a wall of metal. I turned around and everybody was running towards this way and when we tried to get all the kids. I didn't panic too much, but I did panic. Johnny Coleman was at the park with his church group. Really, I wasn't scared, but the kids, I was more concerned about the kids. You know, a straight bullet, you know, they ain't got no names on them. A married couple and her unborn baby shot to death in the middle of a park on Labor Day. Welcome to Explore Crimes. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos. The police were called to Stafford Park in Maple Heights, Ohio, on the afternoon of September 4th, 2023, responding to multiple 911 calls about gunfire and chaos at a packed Labor Day picnic. When officers arrived at the scene, they found a horrifying sight. Several people had been shot, and a peaceful family gathering had turned into a nightmare. Among the victims were Mercedes Iverson, 30, her husband Trey, Norbert Carter III, 31, and their unborn baby girl, Ava. All three were fatally shot in a violent and senseless attack. A 13-year-old boy was also injured, grazed by a bullet but expected to recover. The suspect? Mercedes' own younger brother, 29-year-old Jason Iverson, who was arrested near the park shortly after the shootings. Tonight we are learning new details about that Labor Day shooting that left a pregnant woman and her husband dead at a park in Maple Heights. We thank you for joining us today. Yesterday, the Maple Heights police chief told 3 News the suspected gunman was the woman's brother. And in just the last few hours, they've released his identity now. 3 News' Kaitor K is live at Stafford Park where that shooting took place. Kaitor, good evening. Hey there, good evening, Russ. So this park was full of people for Labor Day events when an alleged family feud left three people dead and another injured. Maple Heights PD releasing that Jason Iverson allegedly came to the park and shot his pregnant sister, Mercedes Iverson. What led to this unimaginable tragedy? The answer lay in months of unresolved family tension, resulting in a single devastating act of violence. Say Iverson allegedly had a feud with her and her husband, Norbert Carter, when they went to their vehicle to avoid the confrontation. Witnesses say Iverson followed them and fired into their vehicle. He reportedly shot his sister and a 13-year-old in the car and then chased after his brother-in-law and shot him in a park bathroom. With Calhoun County Sheriff's Department, I have, a, I have one male, black male down, gunshot wound, multiple gunshot wounds at Stafford Park in the bathroom. The 13-year-old was grazed by a bullet and is expected to be okay, but Iverson's sister, her unborn child, and brother-in-law all died. Mercedes and Trey were a young couple on the cusp of an exciting new chapter. Married and deeply in love, they were preparing to welcome their first child, a baby girl they had already named Ava. Mercedes, a licensed cosmetologist with a passion for family and creativity, was eagerly anticipating motherhood. Trey, a postal worker and podcast host known for his humor and warm spirit, couldn't wait to be a father. They were at Stafford Park that day to do a favor for Mercedes' mother, Cynthia Ivey, dropping off a stroller for her great-grandson. It was supposed to be a quick visit. They never expected it would be their last. 31-year-old Trey Carter and his wife, 30-year-old Mercedes Iverson, were getting ready to welcome a baby girl into the world in November. Iverson's mother, Cynthia Ivy, tells me they had already picked out a name, Ava. They were very excited. Trey was more excited than Mercedes because Mercedes was the one that was sick. <laughs> the Iverson family's troubles began months earlier in May 2023, when Jason's 13-year-old son called Mercedes in the middle of the night. The boy, frightened and distressed, asked his aunt to pick him up because he no longer felt safe at home. Jason, who was living with his girlfriend at the time, had been struggling with personal and relational issues that created an unstable environment for his children. Mercedes, always protective, 
immediately stepped in and brought Jason's children to her home. This act of compassion ignited a bitter conflict between the siblings. Jason felt betrayed and humiliated, accusing Mercedes and her husband Trey of interfering in his role as a father. The children's mother supported Mercedes' decision to keep them safe, leaving Jason feeling increasingly isolated and angry. By Labor Day, his resentment had festered into uncontrollable rage. Around 3.15 p.m., Jason arrived at Stafford Park, where Cynthia Ivey was attending a church picnic. Seeing his sister Mercedes and her husband Trey, Jason immediately became confrontational. Witnesses reported a heated argument that escalated into a physical altercation. Hoping to defuse the situation, Mercedes, Trey, and Jason's 13-year-old son retreated to their car. Jason, however, followed them. Blocking the vehicle's path, he began pounding on the hood and shouting. Mercedes attempted to drive away, but Jason pulled out a semi-automatic pistol and opened fire. The first bullet smashed through the car's back window, grazing the 13-year-old boy's arm before striking Mercedes in the back of her neck. She was fatally wounded, and her unborn baby, Ava, did not survive. Trey, desperate to protect others, fled the car to draw Jason's attention away. Jason pursued him across the park, eventually cornering him in a public restroom. Inside, Jason fired multiple rounds, striking Trey in the chest and head, and killing him instantly. Children playing nearby and families enjoying the picnic were left scrambling for safety, their screams echoing through the park. Jason Iverson allegedly came to the park and shot his pregnant sister, Mercedes Iverson. Listen, is she breathing at all? No, it's blood everywhere. It's coming okay. out of her mouth. Okay, all right, all right. We're on the way, okay? Who shot her? Her brother. Police say Iverson allegedly had a feud with her and her husband, Norbert Carter, when they went to their vehicle to avoid the confrontation. Witnesses say Iverson followed them and fired into their vehicle. He reportedly shot his sister and a 13-year-old in the car and then chased after his brother-in-law and shot him in a park bathroom. With Calhoun County Sheriff's Department, I have, a, I have one male, black male down, gunshot wound, multiple gunshot wounds at Stafford Park in the bathroom. The 13-year-old was grazed by a bullet and is expected to be okay, but Iverson's sister, her unborn child, and brother-in-law all died. Maple Heights Councilman Stafford Chanette calling the killings discouraging. It's senseless, and, and thank God more people didn't, didn't, didn't get hurt. We thank God that that didn't happen, but it, it's just so unfortunate, you know, and I think that... Um, you know, especially in an inner city like ours, you know, it, it, it takes you backwards. Iverson allegedly tried to flee the scene after the shootings, but was caught and arrested. And he's now expected to be arraigned tomorrow morning, facing charges of murder and attempted murder. Russ. Okay, Kaito K reporting live from Maple Heights. Thank you. For Cynthia Ivey, the events of that day were an unthinkable nightmare. She had watched as her son's anger exploded, claiming the lives of her daughter, son-in-law, and unborn grandchild. They were just doing me a favor, dropping off a stroller, Cynthia recalled tearfully. Jason just showed up, and everything spiraled so quickly. I never thought it would come to this. A married couple and her unborn baby shot to death in the middle of a park on Labor Day. Maple Heights police say the person who pulled the trigger was that woman's younger brother. Well, tonight, Just One Station spoke to the mother of the victim and the shooter. Kelly Kennedy live tonight with this emotional story. Kelly. Chris, she is literally living every parent's worst nightmare. She's devastated. The mom tells me she was actually at Stafford Park yesterday at a church picnic. And the reason that her daughter and son-in-law came by was to do her a favor. They were just dropping off her great-grandson's stroller. Well, that's when her son showed up and did the unthinkable. 31-year-old Trey Carter and his wife, 30-year-old Mercedes Iverson, were getting ready to welcome a baby girl into the world in November. Iverson's mother, Cynthia Ivey, tells me they had already picked out a name, Ava. They were very excited. Trey was more excited than Mercedes because Mercedes was the one that was sick. <laughs> She says the Parma couple was only at Stafford Park in Maple Heights on Labor Day to do her a favor, to drop off a stroller. Then out of the blue, you know, my son shows up 
And as soon as he sees them, he's just like, he just goes off. So I don't know what he was doing before um, that got him so enraged, mm -hmm. you know, but he just wouldn't let up. Do you have any idea why your son was so upset with your daughter and her husband? Well, that's a long story in itself, yeah. you know, but the bottom line is he was holding a grudge. He just wouldn't let it go. It just festered and I guess that was the end result. Never in a million years could Ivy have imagined that her 29 year old son, Jason Iverson, would shoot and kill his own pregnant sister and her husband in cold blood. Him and his sister has always been close. You know, he's always been able to call her and she would bail him out of whatever it was. What do you think it was? You think he just snapped? I think so. You know, there were a couple of setbacks that he was dealing with in his life. And I guess he just couldn't handle it. Everything just came to a head. To my knowledge, he was supposed to have been seeking help. Being a parent, it's, it's kind of hard when you have grown children that have issues because there's only so much you can do. She says it's hard to accept that her daughter's killer and her son are the same person. It's very hard for me to come to terms with that, you know, because they're both my kids. I just can't imagine what she's going through. Ivy tells me she has not spoken to her son since the tragedy. She says she's not sure when she'll be able to forgive him, but she's not there yet. Now, Iverson will be arraigned tomorrow on murder and attempted murder charges. Reporting live, Kelly Kennedy, 19 News. Cynthia described Mercedes and Jason as once being close, with Mercedes often helping her younger brother through difficult times. Jason fled the park after the shooting, but was arrested a short distance away. He was charged with three counts of aggravated murder for the deaths of Mercedes, Trey, and baby Ava, as well as attempted murder and multiple counts of felonious assault for injuring his son. In March 2024, Jason pleaded guilty to all charges. During his sentencing, he expressed remorse, saying, I destroyed a whole family that day. I deserve whatever punishment is coming toward me. The court sentenced Jason to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Despite his words of regret, the family and community remain haunted by the question of why such an extreme act of violence occurred. Mercedes and Trey are remembered as a loving, vibrant couple with so much ahead of them. Trey's final moments were described as heroic, as he may have drawn Jason away to protect others in the park. While he may not have any future familial legacy, maybe this will be his legacy, Assistant Prosecutor Kristen Carcutt said. He died saving people. Their memory lives on in the hearts of their loved ones, who continue to grieve the loss of not only Mercedes and Trey, but also the future they would have shared with their daughter, Ava. The tragedy at Stafford Park sent shockwaves through the Maple Heights community. Councilman Stafford Chenette described the incident as senseless and emphasized the need for systemic change to address the root causes of violence. Neighbors who witnessed the shooting were left shaken. One woman, who had been unloading groceries at the time, recalled seeing children and elderly people fleeing into her yard for safety. It was chaos, she said. They were a beautiful family. This should never have happened. For the Iverson and Carter families, life will never be the same. They continue to mourn the loss of Mercedes, Trey, and Ava while grappling with the reality that their deaths came at the hands of a family member. This story serves as a powerful reminder of the devastating consequences of unresolved anger and family conflict. As the Maple Heights community comes together to heal, the memory of Mercedes, Trey, and Ava will endure as a testament to the power of love, the importance of family, and the need to prevent violence in all its forms. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.